Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA's Fun. Today, we're going to delve a little bit further into our user form series. In the last video, you may have seen we added a label that traps the employee ID number exclusive of, independent of, the last name, comma, first name. So, uh, we trap that in our label called LBL, employee ID, or imp, uh, imp ID. And what we're going to do with that label is we're going to use it to be able to do a VLOOKUP on this table. So let's get started. We're going to make another label that we want to be their status. So I'll put a label here that labels the label, if you will. Status. Double click on the lower right hand corner to auto adjust that. Control C to copy. We'll make another label. And this is going to be their actual status here. So this one I will uh, blank out here and I will click on it and give it a name it's going to be LBL status okay so each time we click on a new person it's going to capture their employee ID number and then in this label it's going to bring up either an A or an I for their status so let's get started alt F11 is, uh, is where we already are I guess to get in the visual basic menu so let's add on the click event here we're going to go uh, we've already trapped the employee ID number right there in that label. So we're going to say uh, me dot LBL was our new label, the label status. Me, me dot LBL status equals, and this is going to be a pretty short video. We're going to use application. Here's how we do worksheet functions application dot worksheet function dot VLOOKUP. And the argument one is going to be me.lbl employee ID. We're going to look up the ID. Then uh, the table, instead of putting range blah blah blah, I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to put my table here. Uh, however, I don't remember what the table is called. Um, my table, perhaps? Nope, that's not the one. My DB. Oh, I should have given these uh, more appropriate names, it sounds like. Let's see here. Table one down. Well, let's just uh, go a little extra here. And uh, we'll just give this a fresh name. Oh, what's that? Let's see. We'll call it employee list. EMP list. All right. So Alt F11 back to it. So uh, we're looking up the ID number and we're looking it up in the employee list table. And we are saying we want to look up column one, two, three, four. Status is column four, comma zero. Let's try that out. Um, I'm gonna hit F5 to run the user form, but the status is blank until we choose one. So status is A. In fact, all these are gonna be A, unless I include an active click there. Now we have a larger list. So I'm going to start hitting the down button. And pretty soon, yep, we've gotten to the inactive people you can see. So same thing as if you click here. You've got the A's. And then as soon as we get the Shaka Zulu, now they're inactive below that. So there's a little thing here. You can make that anything you want. Do a VLOOKUP of the, um, the uh, eighth column if you want to know their favorite color. We switch that right now. Make it real easy. Let's see. Alt F11. Alt. I said Alt F11. Thank you. Let's just call this color. And we'll rename this label really quick. LBL color. And then uh, double click here. And instead of doing the me dot LBL status, we'll just be me dot LBL color. Uh, we're going to use column 8 because that's where the colors are in the VLOOKUP table. And uh, that's it, guys. There's your color. Bam. Blue for this person. Blue, 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 red, green. Blue, 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 yellow, green. Um, Shaka Zulu likes yellow. Uh, Dwayne Shelley likes that. Click over here. Let's include an active. Make it real tricky. Let's look one up. Fake guy 15 likes blue. So, that's how to do that. Thanks for watching. We'll do more soon.